In this video tutorial, we'll show you how to wipe free space with BC Wipe. Open BC Wipe Task Manager. Residual data, known as data remnants, continues to exist after common activities, such as delete a file or move a file. Click the Add Task icon. Here you can name your wiping task. Now enable Wipe Free Space. The Wipe Free Space task is used to completely remove all traces of unwanted files beyond forensic recovery. To clean free space on a hard drive, BC Wipe creates temporary files with a wiping pattern inside. These temporary files overwrite old data written to the disk. Using a clever technique, BC Wipe can overwrite free space without allocating all available disk space at once. With this method, the drive never gets into a low disk space condition. Select the drive on which you want to run the Wipe Free Space task from the list. You can exclude network mapped drives by checking Hide Network Mapped Drive. Keep in mind, free space wiping is a time-consuming task. To wipe free space in less time, click Manage Reserved Space. This option allows you to reserve free space after it has been wiped. Since the wiped data residing in reserved space is considered occupied, it will not get used or dirty, so that space will not need to be wiped every time. The reserved free space will be automatically released in case the disk starts getting full. Check Enable Reserved Space. Select a percentage and click Set. Let's now select the Schedule tab. Here you can set the starting time for the wiping task. Apart from the default immediate scheduling, the task can be set to start at user logon, at startup, or at user log off or shutdown. You can also schedule tasks to run daily, weekly, or monthly. Let's move on to the Wipe Options tab. Under the Wipe Options tab, you can select from the 14 different wiping schemes. Master File Table, or MFT, is a reserved space on an NTFS disk, where the file system stores names and attributes of files. Small files may reside entirely inside the MFT. It is recommended to enable this option for complete security. NTFS is a journaling file system and uses the NTFS log to record temporary data for all your files you have been using. The transactions log file is used to restore the file system in case of a failure. FileSlack is the disk space from the actual end of a file up to the end of the last cluster used by the file. The space may contain data from files written there previously. Directory slacks may also contain names of the deleted files, as well as other deleted data. Wiping a file and directory slacks may be a time-consuming process, especially if there are many files and folders on the disk. For certain files and folders that you will keep for a long time, you could wipe their slacks just once, and then configure BC Wipe to skip these directories. To create a list of skipped files and folders, check Use Skipped List and click Edit Skipped List. Now select the options as desired. Check the right log box if you want the log file afterwards. Click on the Save and Start button to start the task immediately.
You can also directly use the Wipe Free Space task. Just right-click on the drive from Windows Explorer and select Wipe Free Space with BC Wipe. Congratulations! You have successfully wiped free space with BC Wipe. Thank you for watching. We hope you will be satisfied with our software.